If business continuity and innovation are hallmarks of your infrastructure, then properly configuring your server is key. In this edition of Tech Talks, we'll go over the configuration of the IPv6 and DHCP servers in Cisco RV340 series routers, next. For this demonstration, we are using an RV345P router to configure the DHCP server in the LAN for the VLAN 2 interface. According to Wikipedia, these are the special IPv6 address blocks. Here, we are going to concentrate the IPv6 for a private network, which is known as a unique local address. It is defined with the block of FC00 colon colon slash 7. Previously, this was known as site local address, and it was defined with the FEC 0 colon colon slash 10 block. Since 2005, it has been modified as a term unique local address and defined as a block of FC 0 colon 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 slash 7. Now this block has two parts, which are FC 0 colon 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 slash 8 and FD 0 colon 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 slash 8. The first part is undefined as of now. We are going to discuss the second part, which is FD00 colon colon slash 8. It is defined for slash 48 prefix, which is formed by setting 40 bits of the prefix following FD to a randomly generated bit string. These are actually hexadecimal strings. Consider this example. If one hexadecimal string has been denoted randomly, and it is appended with the prefix FD00 for the 48 bit, it looks like this. FDE4 colon 8 DBA colon 82E1 colon colon slash 48. Now, if we just modify for the slash 64 subnet size, block size, then the network will look like this. FDE4 colon 8 DBA colon 82E1 colon colon slash 64 slash. We are going to execute this example here in our router for VLAN 2. If we go to the VLAN settings and select VLAN 2, we can define our IPv4 address, the subnet mask, and choose the DHCP type as disabled. We have enabled the DHCP server for IPv6 and chosen this prefix as an example. We'll see that our prefix length is 64 and that the range start and range end are both defined with our prefix. Under the VLANs to port table, we see that VLAN 2 is untagged for both numbers 2 and 4. Any host will be able to retrieve the DHCP IP address from here. The PC is connected here on this LAN port number 2. So, if we go to the Ethernet status of this PC LAN, we can see our IPv6 is enabled and is configured with the IPv6 address automatically. To access the router, we have configured the IPv4 manually, that is 192.168.3.100. We can go to the command prompt on this PC and type ipconfig slash all and see the IPv6 address is showing on the Ethernet adapter of this system. We can also verify these details here. We can see the DHCP server for IPv4 is visible, and this IPv6 address is showing on the Ethernet interface. We also have the option to ping this IPv6 address and verify it. And that's how the IPv6 DHCP server is configured in the RV340 series routers. Thank you for watching Tech Talks from Cisco. We'll see you next time.